ladies, it's your time to shine with all things fabulous with First for Women on Afternoon Express. For insurance with a host of fabulous benefits, call 0861 11 1844 or SMS FIRST to 49267. Africa and a very good afternoon to you. I'm Jeannie D. And I'm Danilo Acristo and welcome to what is going to be one of the most interesting episodes of Afternoon Express ever. Whether you're preparing this weekend for the Durban July or just want to curl up with a book or a movie or get into a bath of popcorn, we're about to kick off your weekend in style. Today we are celebrating some of the unique and most interesting acts that we have ever seen. In fact, we've got somebody yeah. in the loft that is possibly one of the most entertaining and one of the most beautiful beautiful air hostesses in the world, Kathy specific. She's ma magnificent. We also bring you two performances that completely break boundaries of conventional entertainment. So if I were you, I would not move from your seat. Oof, you're absolutely right. So speaking of which, we have got in the loft today a woman who has really taken over Africa by storm when it comes to DJing, uh, Jade Needy Neeby. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So you've got this awesome piece of te technology here. Your name is react to go when you're performing. Yes. This is a React table. Yes. And if you want to know more about this, you're going to have to stay tuned to the show today. But with all of this action going on, somebody needs to feed us. That'll be me, Danilo. Thank you. <laughs> I'm joined by Claire Wynn Stanley in the kitchen, the ever-gorgeous Claire. And she's going to be preparing something almost as sweet as she is. Aww, what are you making today, Claire? Too fine. <laughs> We're going to be making a Clement Gold Melba pudding. So a little <gasps> bit of a twist on a fantastic classic. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of chocolate as well. Wells on the menu. Awesome. I think Malva pudding is South Africa's favorite dessert. Oh, isn't it just delicious? Exactly. <laughs> I can't wait. And if you're cooking along with us at home, go to our website www.afternoonexpress.co.za or just join the conversation on social media. Tweet to us at Afternoon Chat, hashtag Afternoon Express, or comment on our Facebook page. But for now, let's join Jeannie with Kathy Specific on the couch. She's entertained audiences across the country with her hilarious stage shows and is the MC for Madame Zangara. Joining us on our couch is South Africa's most outrageous and entertaining air hostess, Kathy Specific. Kathy, finally I have you on my couch. Hello, Jeannie. Nice to be here. <laughs> now, congratulations on being back at Madame Zangara. It's been a while, two years. Uh, I was off playing a, another monster by the name of Frank Sort of Nothing halfway between a boy and a girl, and I'm, I'm back as a fully-fledged female, which is fantastic. Amazing. Now, I want to get to the beginning, before Rocky Hara, before mm. Kathy specific. You were, in fact, um, a young boy in Pretoria Boys <laughs> High. I was, yeah. yes. Yeah, <laughs> Tell me about your journey, because it is, a qu it is quite a fascinating it one. It is a fascinating story. Uh, performing was never on the cards. Uh, I wanted to be a doctor. I thought I had a great bedside manner. I'd be a pa paediatrician. Yeah. And uh, all the mums would bring their kids to me, I'd make lots of money. Uh, and then I went overseas for a year, uh, got into drama school in London and it all changed. Faxed the mum and dad from uh, Vienna, said I'm, I'm going to be an actor. And uh, they've been uh, my biggest support ever since. Amazing. Now you created, Kathy. what was the idea behind that? Was it perhaps the cover of Vanity Fair? <laughs> <laughs> Was that ever a motivation? I, I was her inspiration. <laughs> you were? Uh, I tell you what, I flew for South African Airways for six years as a, as a boy. Yeah. Uh, but I've got two passions in love, my passion for flying, my passion for performing. And I thought, how could I marry the two? Mm. How did I not have to choose? And I still remember it was on an Nairobi flight, uh, not full. Uh, what do you do after having served passengers for half an hour? What do you do for the other three and a half hours? And uh, I decided that although I do a fabulous safety demonstration, there's more to me than serving coffee and tea and voila. Yeah. Amazing. Kathy and how specific. easy was it for you to kind of create this character and then be accepted by audiences in South Africa in particular? No, it was a gamble. You know, I'd left subsidised employment. Uh, but I, I just, I had a gut feeling. I just, you know, that she was in my head for ages and I just thought, I want to be this woman. And who better to tell my story having flown, having done six years uh, research up in the air. Yeah. And of course, there's no better drama school than 35,000 feet above sea level. So. Absolutely. And then you started started off with Kathy and then got offered the role, obviously, of Frank on I the Rocky did. Horror Picture Show. That 
was the most outstanding performance. You were better than the original uh, Frank uh, in, in, in the Rocky Horror. Thank it you. Was incredible. Big shoes to fill. Big shoes. I never wanted to fill his. Yeah. Um, mine are slightly bigger than his. Mine's a size 13. Mm. Uh, but I just want, I would just wanted to uh, <laughs> give it, a, a, you know, have Brendan have his own take on the part. Yeah. Um, I played him twice, in fact. The first time was 2008. Amazing. And after those performances, I thought to myself, please, can I just get into the get up once more, have one more Bowers Frank? Yes. And uh, 444 performances later, you know that your take on Frank almost reminded me a bit of the cat in the hat. You know, what's your nah? <laughs> Please do it for me. Yeah, yeah. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> genius. Uh, thank so you. So now take us through where can people see Kathy? Well, like you know, she's back at Madame Zingara. It's their 15th. A uh, year, so uh, the uh, new show is called The Celebration, of course. and indeed it is a celebration. It's bigger, it's better, it's bolder, it's more beautiful. It now seats 650 instead of 450. You have a five-course meal, and of course the best acts from from around the globe and some wonderful, wonderful South African talent as well. I cannot wait to yeah, go and it watch is, you. It is and can I tell you why? Mm. There's very few people that can look as good as I do in a bustier. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely you. magnificent. Thank you very much. So you're going to be performing us for uh, performing for us a little bit later. I'm going to be doing a song for you later. Yes. I cannot wait. I need to know who your makeup artist is because you are looking incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Jenny. Thank you so much for chatting to us. Now Kathy isn't going anywhere because she has brought some fellow cast members of the new Madame Zagara show along with her, and they are called the Diamolo Girls, and they're all the way from China. And you are definitely not wanting to miss their fantastic acrobatic performance. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Afternoon Express here on 3. We're about to start our recipe. Indeed. Mm -hmm. What do I need to do okay, first? Okay, so what are, okay, let's get you going. Exactly. Yes. So we're going to just whisk up the eggs and the sugar. So okay. I'm going to get you to do that. While you do that, I'm just finishing up the sauce that is going to be on the base of our Melba pudding. So that's going to bubble away and get all kinds of ooey and gooey, and gooey. While, it, while it gets all hot All of in the, the sugar? All of it. So much sugar. Don't be scared. This is dessert. My hips after are crying all. already. No, just a little piece, you know. It's <laughs> not about eating the whole thing. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. You can see it's bubbling and it's melted. That's the butter, the golden syrup, and then just a little bit of sugar. We're okay. gonna pour that on to our clem and golds. The clem and gold is that little bit of a twist that I was telling you to our Melba pudding. It's just gonna add a little bit of citrus, a little bit of zing, and just a great sort of freshness to a very rich, decadent, but absolutely delicious dessert. Yes, yeah, everything you make is delicious, Claire. Oh, I have no sweet. doubt. Um, do I add this butter to this? Okay, I'm sure. so I'm with you in a second. Okay, so you're doing a fantastic job. Next goes our absolutely yummy Clemmer Gold, just to complement our Clemmer Gold mm -hmm. in our dish already, marmalade. Marmalade. So let's put about two of those in there. I mean, typically with the Melville pudding, you would probably, well, you would add an apricot jam. So this is sort of the, the substitute I'm using right. to, to complement everything that's happening. Marmalade at this. tends to be a little bit bitter. I mean, does that well, disappear? Well, as you notice, that sugar, I think we're complement. Well, we're offsetting that bitterness okay. quite well. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so we've got a little bit of baking soda in there, probably about a teaspoon. Then comes our salt, and this is just the dry ingredients that we are sieving. All right. As I always say, not scared of a little bit of a mess. <laughs> it makes it all fun. Because we clean as we go along, Because we right? do clean as we go. And this is taking forever, so it's going to make a little bit of a mess. Okay, so then we're going to alternate the dry and wet ingredients. What goes into the wet ingredients is our melted butter, okay. which we have over here. That's just melted nicely. Then a little bit of vinegar. All right. And can I pour that in? Okay, what we're going to do is add it all together. This is the milk in here. Then okay. we add our vinegar. Vinegar. Go ahead on the melted butter. Why vinegar? Vinegar and the baking soda work really well together to... It, that's what's going to give you that lift when it's in the oven. So they combine, they react, uh -huh. and it, to get very technical, carbon dioxide, yakety schmacky, yes. and it lifts and up oh, into the oven. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you do the wet ingredients. I'm gonna do the dry. Okay, so I can add our mixture. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hide that flour, it never happened. 
<laughs> okay, and then a little bit of the flour. You got all kinds of excited there. We were going to alternate the ingredients, but you just go on oh, in there. Oh, we're going to alternate them. <laughs> Does it affect how it turns out? Let's find out. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll learn the hard way. Okay, and then the last bit of flour goes in there. And that's that, and that's going to get poured into that. I'll tell you what, if it doesn't work out, you can blame it all on me. Okay, we will. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll taste delicious. We've got chemicals, we've got sugar, we've yeah. got butter. It's if a recipe it looks for good, it tastes good. Fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to grab it from you for two okay. seconds. You're doing a fantastic job. Just to give it one swirl. Over, mm -hmm. And then that gets poured into here. Poured into there. Just sort of even it out nicely. I don't know if you want to grab the spatula. The spatula, okay. And help me. I'll smooth Let's that out. make our lives easier and just bring that a little bit closer. That goes in. And then that's going to go into the oven at about 180 degrees, probably for 35 to 45 minutes. Okay. Just until you poke it with a, 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 a test over there and, and it, it comes, comes out, out clean. clean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the cool part is the sauce we're going to put on top. I think that's fantastic. It looks so sticky and gooey. That I love goes it. on there. Okay. And then comes the sauce. So we're just melting up some butter. Mm -hmm. Do you want to pass me the sugar, More the sugar. cream, the clement gold juice? We're just okay. going to add that all in here. Clement gold juice? Yes. So oh. we've literally just taken the clement gold, juiced them, oh, and then okay. add in here. Okay. That so goes in there. Okay. And then cream. And I'm literally just going to slowly melt this down. We'll mm -hmm. combine that all together. And like I said, once it comes out the oven, it's gonna, we're going to add, we're going to take this, poke all the holes in it, mm -hmm. pour the sauce over and it just oozes and into it. it. And it's it a up. really like syrupy, soaked up kind oh, of pudding. Wow. And that's our what, citrus melted pudding. decadence, a real treat for the sweet tooth, eh? Hey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, while we pop that in the oven, Jeannie is standing by in the lounge with a fascinating and unique performance. Thanks, buddy. Now, the sensational Dear Bolo Girls have been performing for 13 years in different countries around the world, including Japan, Korea, Thailand, Italy, Spain, and the USA. Now, all of the artists are trained in Puyang, a city in Henan province, which is widely known as the home of Chinese acrobats. And they're here in the loft with us today. Take it away, girls. <laughs> takes me back to the Beijing Olympics. Absolutely, 2008, Jeannie. That's where it comes from. 
2008. Now, I believe that this was actually started off as an arm exercise. Absolutely. Uh, Taiwanese, uh, Japan, uh, Chinese descent for uh, firm, firm working arms. At, yeah. Would you mind if I had a try? Sure. Because, I mean, I, can I try? Thank you so much. Let's have a look. I mean, I'm no Chinese acrobat, but I mean... Yeah. <laughs> well, almost. I think I'm should... ready for Madame Sangara. What do you think? I think you should show Thank me your you contortion act. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit better at that. Well, this is absolutely incredible. And they will be performing with you at absolutely. Madame Sangara? Absolutely. Them amongst a few other wonderful acts from around the world. Uh, we've got Salo, who's an aerial pole artist uh, from Spain. And, uh, yeah, these are just... This is just one of the exciting things happening at Zingora. Bigger, better, like I said, bolder. Something this country's never seen before. Um, and the first of its kind in the world. It is the biggest mirrored tent in the world. All right, excellent. Well, don't go away. When we return, we bring you another sensational act. Her name is <laughs> Reactor Girl. South Africa, are you with us? Welcome back to your Friday edition of Afternoon Express. We've dimmed the lights in the loft today because we have the uber-talented Jade Nibi, a.k.a. Reactor Girl, who has a very unique style of DJing where she creates beats on the fly and is also the very first person on the African continent to be using a specific piece of technology called the Reactable. And that's what's standing right in front of us over here. Jade, first of all, welcome to the loft. Thanks for having me today. I am a boy in a candy shop because this thing looks <laughs> epic. Now, what, first of all, is the Reactable and how did you get Get involved in DJing? Well, Reactable is what you see in front of you here. Um, mm. It was presented to me by uh, one of my co work colleagues, Shannon Elianus. He mm. created and founded First Project, and he's also the drum machine DJ in South Africa. So he presented this idea to me and said, do you want to take it and run with it? And I like the uniqueness of it. So yeah, I took it about a year ago, and I've just been practicing a lot. <laughs> I can imagine, because this <laughs> yeah. looks incredibly complicated. Were you a DJ before this, as in were you using normal turntables before you turned to nope, this type of technology? I'm a full-time drummer, and this just sparked wow. my interest, so I thought I would try, try evolve myself in some form, and yeah, that's what it came about. So who actually inspired you to get involved in these things? What are some of the DJs that you look up to? Sure. Well, based on the actual guys that have been using this, if you look at uh, Matt Robertson, who's Bjork's musical mm. director and DJ, he's literally taken Reactable as a product and dissected it entirely because mm. he's a technician. So he's yeah. built the whole thing back from scratch and now uses it the way he needs to use it on, mm. uh, on stage with Bjork. Uh, you look at David Guedes also used it, DJ Nero. So quite a few influential names are sure. working with the project. Behind this thing. And what's very exciting is that, like I said, you are the first person on the African continent and will be for a very long time mm -hmm. to have this piece of technology. Um, so I think you're probably the best person to explain to us how it works because no one else has one. <laughs> so let's get straight into how this thing works. Do you mind showing me exactly uh, the process? Okay, so basically you get your cubes and mm -hmm. you've got your pucks. What happens with the cubes is that you load a sound sample onto each side, whichever side you can see. Okay. And these little things here are called fiducials, which are read by by infrared lights that are fiducial, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that are read That's by infrared lights that are <laughs> in the center of this table on a projector. Okay. So you load your sounds onto each side of the cube and you get something like this. Oh, whoa. So that's sort of a bass tone, and then you can take that off and you put that down. And you've got Ooh, your drum line. groove. Mm. Sorry, drum groove. That's what she said. So you, you essentially, if you're going to demonstrate on this, you take this groove, mm -hmm. and then you can take one of your effects that you like to use. So this is an echo cube. Mm -hmm. So that kind of repeats, loops things, and makes them go faster and slower. It, yeah, literally, you can. So you just do this shuffle puck it into the mix, with the volumes not down. Changing the effect of it like that. Oh, so you have my note values word. on the side as well. Yo, so you can really get into like a groove with that one. Yeah. Mm. And I see this little pulsating light in the middle too. What is that doing? That is the center pulse. So that is driven by your BPM, which is here, oh, your tempo I see. marker. So exactly. Take that. This is at 140 currently. So we can speed it up. Mm. Beat matching and stuff going on there. Mm. Exactly. I see. see. And then that's yeah, your center pulse. So it's in 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, three four, four, two, one. two, three. And that's how oh, you kind of guide word. yourself into how you play. Should I bring this back down to 140 for you? Yeah, please. Otherwise it's going to sound like we're on <laughs> some kind of drugs in the club, yeah? <laughs> uh, one, four. 
for there you go. Hey, I'm a natural. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. You want to give so it a try yourself? I, I'd like to see if you put something together first. Like, I want to see how a track gets put together if you were in a in a place DJing okay. or somebody. Then I will put my hand in it because I want to see how you do the whole thing okay. first. Okay. Well, I'm going to do my little performance at the end of the show. Cool. But what I'll show you is a basic guideline. You do something like... Well, I'll add effects. How about you put the sound and I'll yeah. add the effects, what so I think are cool. There's your echo cue. Cool, I like this one. This is sort of your swell, so it can go... Ooh. All the weird effects. But how you can control the effects is by using the filter. So you can do it like that. Oh, I see. So that's a filter. This yeah. is a swell. What do you call a swell yeah, effect? Yeah, swell, yeah, effect. And then that's okay. your echo cube. Okay, I'm taking them all. You can put me a, like, give me a bass line or something that's got a lot of bass. Okay. So if you have a subwoofer at home, make sure it's turned up nice and loud. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Okay, let me try this. So there's one, two, three. Oh, I messed it up, eh? It's got to be connected to the, yeah. All the effects get connected to the pucks, uh, to the cubes. Mm, mm. My words, you can change the sounds by rotating the cubes too. Yeah. Oh, I see. And then it changes again. Yo, that is so cool. I love this. This is like a piece of technology I think I would like to buy in my... It's uh, like a toy. It, it is like a toy. I play it every single day of my life. It's amazing. What can we expect from Reactor Girl moving forward? Well, the nice thing about being a Reactor Girl and with this being such a unique device is that it's given me an opportunity to write my own music and put mm. it out there. And it's kind of a different style of music, so having a different product and different sound of music, it kind of gels nicely together. Yo. So, yeah, you can expect more original compositions and... See me out at yeah. places, I guess. So soon we'll be seeing on this lamppost reactor girl in the club and we'll be there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fantastic. Well, she's going to be performing later on on the show, but right now Jeannie's having probably as much fun, but for a very good cause in her kitchen. Brighten up your home with Handy Andy. Handy Andy, always a beautiful ending. Growing up, I remember being so spoiled by my grandparents and later on in life realizing how valuable time spent with them really is. And so today, with the assistance of the wonderful Claire Wynn Stanley, we're going to be teaching my gorgeous godson, Mikhail, the value of doing something kind for others. We're going to be baking a batch of cookies for the old folks at the Seapoint Old Age Home. What are some tips that you can give me on making a basic child-friendly cookie? As you say, basic, a very simple cookie dough. You start with the butter, you want a nice room temperature butter, pop that into the bowl, next goes the sugar. Whiz that up until it's almost like creamy and pale. Then comes the vanilla. Just scrape that vanilla pod, pop it into the bowl. For the wet ingredients will be the egg. Crack that egg in, mix it up until it's all incorporated and last step for the super simple cookie dough is your flour. Whip that up into your, the rest of your ingredients and that's it. Top it out onto the table, make the shape of a sort of rough cookie, wrap it up in plastic and let it rest. Are there any do's and don'ts when baking with children? Do have a lot of fun. Choose something that's simple and has a lot of creativity. You can use brightly colored cookie cutters, lots of icing, sprinkles, things where the kids can really get involved. Don'ts do anything that involves fire. <laughs> That's my ultimate tip. <laughs> Remember, baking is all about having fun and letting the kids unleash their creativity. There's bound to be a bit of mess, but Claire's got a solution for that. Claire, it is an absolute pleasure baking with you in my kitchen because you've been able to keep everything so spotless clean. I seriously believe in cleaning as we work. To keep our kitchen hygienically clean, and you two kitchen helpers are making all the difference. Sunlight dishwashing liquid takes care of the piles of bowls and dishes and utensils while Handy Andy Ultra sorts out those greasy marks, stains and removes 99.9% .9 of the germs and everything is absolutely spotless. With their final batch ready to go, Jeannie and Mikhail can't wait to hand over the treats to some very deserving residents of Seapoint Place. Some of these senior citizens don't have children or grandchildren to see them into their golden years, and Jeannie and Mikhail meet with Mr. Alexander, who is responsible for the residents' care and well-being. Thank you so much for having us. Tell us a little bit about Seapoint Place. Yeah, Seapoint Place is a retirement centre. It's been around now for about 45 years. It's part of CPOA. Uh, we look after the aged of Cape Town. We have around in the region about 212 people here at this stage. Where we look after these people on a full-time basis. Well, Mikhail and I spent the morning baking some cookies for some of the residents who don't get as many visitors as they should. Can you give Mr. Valentine the cookies? 
Thank, Thank you. you. As you can see, he decorated them himself as Wonderful. well. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, lovely job. <laughs> What a great day. Not only did I get to spend some quality time with my godchild, but we got to do a little good too. Sunlight dishwashing liquid and Handy Andy really know how to brighten up a home. Harness the power of 100 lemons and brighten up your home with sunlight dishwashing liquid. Welcome back to Afternoon Express and welcome to the kitchen. So from grandmom's homemade double thick chocolate cake to mom's custard pudding, we all have our favorite dessert that makes our mouth water. Now, how amazing would it be if your favorite dessert was available in a little box that you could take home with you wherever you went? Well, that's exactly what Lint has done with their creations range, inspired by the tastes and textures of some of the world's most beloved desserts. So joining us in the kitchen today, Dimo Simatos, welcome to The Loft. Thank you very much. Dimo, you're a master chocolatier and I'm I'm very excited because Bonnie is in fact a dessert fan, right Bonds? Yes. So do you want to maybe do a, a blind chocolate tasting with us today? Hit me. Okay, so Dimo's brought three of his favorite flavors uh, from their range. And I'm going to give you one at a time and I want I you can. to try and describe some of the flavors to me. Are you going to feed me? Oh, yes I will. Oh. Yes, I shall. <laughs> Remember chocolate is a okay. aphrodisiac, okay? <laughs> small bite. I'll oh, want the whole thing, small bite. Just small bite. There you go. This is very nutty, mm. hazelnutty. Yes, that's doing very well. I'm not going to describe the flavour to you yet. I want you to taste them all first. Have okay. you swallowed that one? Wait, I need to clear my palate. Don't <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this one should clear the palate because it's usually used as a palate, palate cleanser. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. And there you go. Mmm. It's quite cold. Mmm. And flavours. Mmm, it's very lemony. Mmm, she's pretty good at this. quite cold. Impressive. Yes. I'm sure mm. she was sneaking into the kitchen earlier to taste them beforehand. <laughs> we know this. Have you swallowed that one? You ready for your next one? Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. And there we go. I didn't get any filling. I just got chocolate. I oh, will try again. Have a bigger bite. Ready? Three, two, one. There you go. And I know that this happens to be one of your favorite desserts. Mmm, mmm. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, uh -huh. wait. Creme brulee. That's it. Well done. And those are our three done. You can take a blindfold off. The first one we gave you was a divine hazelnut, which was perfectly on point. Mm -hmm. You said it was nutty, hazelnutty. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Second one was your lemon sorbet, which I think she did very, yeah, very, very well. Sorbet. Well, yeah, cool Indeed. palate cleanser. That was nice and cold. And our third one was our heavenly creme brulee. Which is one oh. of your favorite flavors, right? Uh, my personal favorite, yes. Mm. I know it's one of I your favorite desserts. Brilliant. Yeah, how cool was that? You're actually very good at this. I'm, I'm pretty uh, pretty impressed by how well she's done with that. So I know that we've got this uh, heavenly creme brulee with us today. It's one of your favorite desserts. So how about we make you a version? What? Hey? Of course, okay. yeah. Well, let's get to it, Dimo. Right. What are we making today? Okay, so white chocolate vanilla creme brulee. Oh, yum. And I, as much as it's hers, it's one of my favorites too. Favorites. Every, okay. every time I'm at a restaurant, creme brulee is always what I'll order. All right, so I'm going to show you how to make the perfect creme brulee. Yum. So perhaps you can help me. Yes, absolutely. Yeah? All right. So if you can take your eggs, mm -hmm. sugar. Put them in. All together. Whoops. Put some sugar in there. All of this. All of it. Yeah, more sugar the better. And then combine it, give it a good whisk. Cool. In the meantime, I'm going to get the cream on the go. So we've got cream, vanilla, that mm -hmm. we're going to bring to the boil. Now, Timo, how did you get involved in chocolate? In chocolate? Mm. Uh, I think it runs through my blood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no, since a, a young age, I've just been interested in sugar, confectionery, chocolate. So it's been a natural progression. Amazing. What so, a great career to get into. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing good there. Just keep, give it a good whisk. Oh, I'm starting to stir, not whisk. Yeah. This is quite an arm workout at the same time. <laughs> I'm doing okay. So the cream, the vanilla needs to come to the boil. We're also going to add a little bit of vanilla extract. Yeah. Amazing. So you can bring that across here. Cool, is this okay? Yeah, that's good. So. Oops. I make a mess. I make a mess! <laughs> this is how we cook. So as you can see, the creams come to the boil. Yes, I um, see. Ideally, giving it a, about five minutes to infuse. Mm -hmm. We've added vanilla pod. Yes. So we want it to, to have that deep vanilla flavor. Cool. To this now. I'll show the view what it looks like so you guys can have a look at that. If you look at all of the different textures there of the vanilla that you've got, it's incredible. Mm. Looks right. good. So while you're stirring, I'm going to add a little bit of the white chocolate. Cool. So 
Must, can we do this over, over the heat or we not do this off the heat? Uh, just off the heat. Off the heat, okay. okay so we'll add all the chocolate in one. Mm. Give it a good stir. Oh, okay, there we go. And it's melting so nicely. This chocolate is incredible. So we're using the Swiss Classic uh, white ah. chocolate. So the white chocolate could be substituted for milk chocolate, dark chocolate. Okay, so you can choose to make like a dark chocolate creme brulee. Or, Correct. Mm, and it's a healthy option, I suppose. The dark one. Let yeah. me just show you guys what this looks like. So you can see once the chocolate starts melting in. So you need to make sure that that's totally dissolved. Okay, and I think we are doing okay. Yeah, very good. Hey, look at us. Yeah, all right. So while I whisk, you're going to pour in a little bit of the... Okay, so me how much I must pour in. Yeah, just a little bit at a time. So oh, we're okay. adding the, the liquids, you know, slowly like you're doing, making sure that we don't cook the egg. I see what you're doing, as you're keeping it moving too. Exactly. I'm going to try right. and make sure that I don't get that vanilla pod in. Yeah, it's fine. If that falls in, okay. extra flavor. Well, it managed to stay behind, so that's always a good sign. Okay. Good. Here we go. All right, great stuff. Now turn this off. Or you're you gonna can turn that off. Yeah. All right, so as you can see, it's, it's quite a, a runny nice. mixture quite, at the moment. It is quite runny, so if I want right. to show you there, it just remains quite runny. All right. Okay, so the important thing with creme brulee mixture mm. is what we call maturing. Yes. So overnight in the fridge, or maybe a couple of hours. Oh, I see. Can it's even got a thicker little texture to it. Yeah, it's thicker, it's creamier. Mm. Some of the chocolate is set, so you're so going to have good. a very luxurious mouthfeel. Yes, and so that's the one that you almost, that you've, when you eat, you eat your creme brulee, that's the one that's going to have that nice, almost custody feel to it. Exactly. Mm. All right. Looks amazing. So from here, mm -hmm. put it into our dishes. So okay. we're going to pour it in. Oh, that's so good. You said overnight it must set in a uh, fridge. Well, I'd, ideally. I mean, uh, you can leave it a, an hour or two in the fridge. Yes. That'll be just as good. So we're pouring it into a dish, mm -hmm. and this has got to go into the oven. Okay, it's got to bake for a little bit, while, exactly. a little while. And that's so, what gives it its, its thicker texture. It'll start to almost emulsify a little bit. Exactly, it'll kind of uh, set into a custard texture. Oh, beautiful. So about 30 minutes at 140. Um, the trick here is this needs to be placed into a water bath. Yes. So oh. a tray. A little bit of water, hot water up until the side of it. Yeah. And then into the oven. Into the oven. Amazing. So what does that exact do exactly, the hot water bath? It basically, it, it forms a buffer so that the egg doesn't curdle. So mm. your cu uh, custard is nice and smooth oh. instead of a grainy texture. Amazing. And you guys also put your toppings on to make, give it that nice burnt exactly. uh, sugar feel on top. So what we've got here now is some creme brulees that have been baked. I see, set, baked. All right. So we're going to, there's two choices here. One. You caramelize sugar, Yes. blend it, and then we use that as the topping to, to so caramelize. You, you caramelize it on the stove and then you blend it itself with an actual in an actual blender? In an actual blender. Oh, my word. I don't yeah. even need that. It's that a bit of an effort, but it'll create a, a very nice deep yes, caramel. Yes, I see. Okay. The more popular option, which most people do, mm -hmm. is just white sugar. Okay. Should right. we try one? Yep. Let's give it a go. So, that oh, goes over. This is probably my favorite part. And it really is going to make or break a creme brulee if that uh, sugar ring on top is, is perfect. So we're just going to spread as evenly as possible. Mm -hmm. All the excess... Just exit out. Oh, so it'll stick to the actual... Correct. ...filling. Okay, right. amazing. This is the tricky part now. My favorite part. <laughs> Whenever we have a blowtorch in the, in the loft, I'm always the first to get involved. So as you can see, it, it caramelizes oh, really quickly. I see. It gives you that deep golden caramel. Oh, that's amazing. So Real that's quick. a nice trick to learn, is to caramelize your sugar before you actually do... Correct. Oh, the blow torching. That way wow. you have a nice controlled golden color. Yes, I see. Right. You are truly a master at this. This is incredible. Right. It's fun to watch. I'm sure you guys at home must be like licking your lips in the meantime, but this looks so good. So Dima, would you mind finishing off the rest of these? Because I know the ladies must be licking their lips to taste it. Sure, no problem. Well, fantastic. You guys at home can also get involved with this. For those of you watching, it's your lucky day because we're giving away a hamper that includes a selection of chocolates from Lint's creation range. All you have to do is SMS the keyword Lint and your name and city to 33728 for a chance to win this amazing hamper. And if you think that we're making this up, the ladies are talking makeup on the couch. Thanks so much, Danilo. Welcome to Revlon's Love is On Makeup Series, especially for hashtag Foundation Fridays here on Afternoon Express, where we're sharing makeup tips for all of you out there who are in love or looking for love. And today's topic is date night makeup for that dinner out with your special guy. So, Bonnie and Jeannie, I want to know, any tips? What kind of makeup do you do when you're going out on a very special night? 
tip number one, yes. I'm not going to wear this lip. How come? Because it'll end up everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you know, if it's a white collared shirt that mm -hmm. he's wearing, yes. it will be um, magenta and white oh, by the yeah. end of the night. No, it depends yeah. on the And also if you're going <laughs> to eat something, you know, with, with, with uh, yeah. quite a strong lip, it ends up on the sides of your face and yeah, all of that. And you also don't want to end up with so much of it because lipstick, if it's just piled on and on, it cakes. Mm, yes. And it's, at some point, if you're having fun and you've totally forgotten about your makeup, <laughs> he might be looking at you look like... What is oh, going on? Wait. Oh my goodness, have you ever had one of those moments where you're sitting in your date and you're chatting and you kind of see his face going, looking going. and you've got red <laughs> lips <laughs> on your, <laughs> <of> your teeth. <laughs> and also with the foundation, you don't want to, you know, make it too thick because as soon as you hug him, yes, it's going to exactly. be left Do you know how many him? a guy I've seen <laughs> complain and moan and yes. their whole day ruined because they've got these uh, patches a little push <laughs> on, their on their shoulders. shoulders. So actually, a lot of them tweet about it. Yeah. <laughs> but how do you, how do you do you, do you mattify? Do you use a, a powder on oh, top? I don't do wear tissue? foundation. This of course, is just darling. my skin. <laughs> oh, gosh, darling. I Hashtag, just... I woke up like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I just keep it very light. I just do an eyebrow, I do a, a mascara, some lips, and I love my blushes. So I'll put on some powder it's just so I can add some blush, but I don't yeah. generally do a base on a date. Okay, this okay. didn't happen to me. This happened to a friend. Of course. But have you ever had those moments where you might be in the throes of, of, a, of, a, hug. Know, of a nice, friendly hug? Yes. And you feel a little something in your eye, and, and it's there's a, lash. a false eyelash. <laughs> kind well, of your entire strip of lash is like standing like this because you've been sweating and dancing so hard all night. Oh my gosh, gosh. Yes. 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 Like when you're in a club, you start this because it's so hot, you start sweating, and, and you're then just you're, going and going. Yeah. And the next and thing you've got like. And then your mascara is done here. Yes. And you look like a raccoon. Exactly. It's awful. It happened to me once at gym, not on a date, but kind of you can find you a nice guy to date at gym. You wear makeup. No, I, well, on this particular day I did I and I walked out of my class to the gym. <laughs> I walked out of my class like hey hi and you know when you see a quite a good looking fella walking through the gym and I'm hi and I and everyone's kind of looking at me and I think she's I've obviously worked out really hard it's like I get into my car I flip down the mirror and I look like a panda there's just no. <laughs> everywhere and all the mascara I sweated right? off that mascara yeah but I'm sure it's all of class. us do have horror stories let us know on Twitter right now. But let's take a look, cross on over to the Revlon Makeup Studio for some tips on how you can look beautiful and ready on date night. Hi there, I'm Weaver Roy, the lead makeup artist for Revlon SA. So today I'm gonna show you how to create a look for a dinner date. I'm preparing her skin with an anti-shine prime. So this is good for pores and also to even out your skin. It also helps your makeup to stay longer. So the next step will be applying your foundation. Today we're using Revlon Color Stay Foundation and by looking at Angelic Skin Tone, she is mahogany. So it's very important when you apply your foundation, you always start right on the chin because this is where you see your actual color. I also like to use the circular motion technique because this helps your foundation to look more natural. I apply better foundation with a brush because sometimes what the sponge does, you can end up looking a bit cakey if you're using a sponge. So using a, a brush, you can control how much foundation that you're using. Okay, when you finish applying your foundation, you can set your look with the powder. Now that I've created a canvas, we're gonna start on her eye, which is the focus on our date look. So the first step is to highlight your eye. So what I'm highlighting with is a Revlon bronzer. The next step, apply a lighter shade on your brow bone. So now what I'm doing, I'm smudging a black liner on her eyelid. The reason why I'm smudging the eyeliner on her eyelid, it helps the eyeshadow to pop. Now I'm using a darker eyeshadow on top of the liner to create that smoldery, smoky look. So when you're creating this look, so you blend from the inside of the eye evenly to the outside of the eye. So the next step is to apply your eyeliner. You apply the liner underneath your waterline. The next step is to apply the mascara. So when you apply your mascara, to get the mascara into the lashes, do a wiggle from side to side. It's always a good idea to put on a second coat of mascara, especially when you go out on a date. 
Well, there you go. Thank you so much, Boyo. Especially if you're going out on a date. But talking about foundation, you know, my, my skin colour changes summer, winter. Do yeah. you get the yes, same thing? Absolutely. With you, your shade but changes? I keep a variety of a, fle of a few colours. Okay. Because in winter, I look Caucasian. Mm -hmm. In summer, depending on where I'm holidaying and summering, <laughs> I go a darker shade of Indian. And then sometimes you look like me. I kid you not. Yeah, I remember I'm, the one I'm, day. The one day I'll be with the same colour. And I'm always darker than Joanne Strauss. Always? Always. Really? Well, especially, hey, honey. well not now, because she's in Mauritius or something. <laughs> I need a sun <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> and you, what Bonnie? I find is I've had to, I have to blend colours anyway. Uh -huh. Because my forehead's a bit darker than mm. the rest of my face. Mm. Um, but then in summer, somehow it evens out. It just stands out more in winter. Yeah. But it's Colour Stay Foundation, what? Because it just doesn't come off? I mean, the thing is, Colour Stay Foundation, two things. First is was created and designed for the South African climate. It's right. created and manufactured in South Africa. So, you know, it's perfect for the South African skin, South African ah. weather, South African climate. Like like you, I also have a very uh, light T-zone and then around my neck, around yeah. the rest of my face, I'm a little darker, so I also have to mix. So I'm, I'm yeah. glad to see I'm not the only one who changes yeah, colour. No, I thought I was yeah. a crazy woman. But don't you find any way that you want to put a, a lighter foundation yes. here anyway, yes. yeah. just for contouring? Absolutely. No, for sure. Absolutely. For sure. I like the nose, the eyes, the teaser. Definitely. There you go. <laughs> I love contouring. I end up bronzing myself that I look oh, like an Oscar like by the end of the pro. night. <laughs> but you know what I love to try and do on a date night? Yeah. I love to try and kind of give a, a dewy look. Yeah. yeah. Versus you know, a matte... I'm yeah. overly yes. made up look, you want right? Glow. Because you want to glow yeah. and look happy yes. from yeah. I'm not wearing any makeup. <laughs> it's that natural look. <laughs> Men love the yeah. natural, natural look. And they don't know it's yeah. not really natural. <laughs> yes, We've yes. got a little help from a little something. Yes. <laughs> but speaking of foundation, you can get 50 Rand off SA's number one foundation just by purchasing Revlon Color Stay Foundation between the months of June and July at any leading retail and pharmacy stores nationwide. So you should stock up right now. But let's get back to Vuyo. Now I'm brushing her eyebrows to give me a shape. I'm going to fill in the eyebrow by using a brown shadow from the inside of the brow to the end of the brow. The reason why I prefer using an eyeshadow, the eyeshadow looks more natural as opposed to using a liner. Eyebrows are very important when doing your eye makeup. An eye without a well-finished eyebrow is like a picture without a frame. Now I'm applying the blush. This brings back the life into her skin and also gives you that natural glow. When applying a blush, always look in the mirror, you smile, start applying from the apple of the cheek and sweep it right into the temple. The last step is your lips and you start off by lining your lips. So by lining your lips, it gives you a better definition. It also helps the lip gloss from bleeding over the lip. And voila, now she's ready for her date. Oh, oh. I love that. She really does look yeah. fantastic. Eyebrows. You know what? I've got to say that the three of us have yes. a very strong eyebrow game going yeah. on in the studio. Eyebrows on fleek. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Get any tips from there from Boya. You know what to do next time you go out, G. Totally. Yeah. He is amazing. He's incredible. Yeah. yeah. But he made that smoky eye and those eyebrows look so easy to right? do. It's not that easy. Right? No, you but if you know how, emotions. I'm going to have to watch this tutorial a few times a just to colour in my own eye with the eyebrow, yeah. with the eyeliner. Yeah. But that's the thing about makeup. It's about practicing, being at home, playing yes. around with colours and yes. brushes and getting all your tools. And eyebrows, really? important. Eyebrows. Go natural. Yes. Don't go like those weird... I, I mean, can no. you guys answer this question for me? Mm. Why are we still shaving off our eyebrows and then drawing them back? I'm if not. I can get an answer can to that, tell I will give you a million rand cash. I'll give you a million rand cash. Thank you what so much. I really, really love that. Oh, this is so cool. This is so fun. If you and your plus one, your bestie or your lover would like to experience 24 hours in my life, hanging out here on set, enjoying the city life and turning love on, whether you're in love or looking for love, just take a pic of you and your Revlon Colour Safe Foundation and tweet at Afternoon Chat using the official hashtag, hashtag 
Fashion uh, Foundation Fridays, I beg your pardon, and hashtag love is on. This amazing 25,000 Rand prize includes an all expenses paid trip to Cape Town for two, dinner at an A list restaurant, plus a 10,000 Rand shopping spree. So get tweeting right now. Don't forget the hashtags hashtag Foundation Fridays, hashtag love is on. But because we really love you, we're also giving away a gorgeous makeup hamper. All you need to do is SMS the keyword love along with your Revlon Color Stay Foundation shade and your name to double three. 728 and it could be all yours. Revlon Color Stays SA's number one foundation. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Well, you know it's a good time of day when the lights are dimmed and mm -hmm. the dessert has been served. Danilo, you've outdone yourself. I mean, this looks so perfect, you may as well be Swiss. <laughs> Thank you so much. It looks incredible. Actually, I think I outdid myself with the sugaring on top. It's awesome. <laughs> and guys, thank you so much for coming through today. And I hope you're going to be joining us for dessert in mm. a little bit later. Mm -hmm. And thank you for watching. We're going to be back next week on SABC3. But for now, we're going to be playing out with quite an exciting exceptional mashup of Kathy Pacific and Summertime and of course Jade and Anti-Gravity. Good night, happy eating and enjoy. Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping and the cotton is high. Wow, wow, your daddy's rich and your mama's good looking. So hush, little baby. Don't you cry One of these mornings You're gonna rise up singing Then you'll spread your wings And you'll take to the sky Your mama's good looking. So, hush, little baby, don't hear cry. Over to you, Jade. <laughs>
up next week, Jay Something from Mikasa talks about his new cooking show. Comedian KG Mukhadi has us in stitches. We bring you more of South Africa's top fashion and good luck treats us to a live performance. Another Feel Good Production. Join us next time for more fabulous fun inspired by First for Women on Afternoon Express. For an insurance quote, call 0861 11 or SMS FIRST to 49267.